Teachers are storytellers. They use stories to get their students motivated. So let's start creating some amazing images using Padlet's new image generator. Let's jump onto the computer. Now here I have Padlet open. The link will be in the description below. But once you're in Padlet, you can create a new Padlet board. Now a Padlet board can be a brainstorming board. So you can add your ideas, images, videos, anything you can think of all in a single board. Maybe this board are your morning starters. Maybe they are your creative writing prompts. So let's create our first Padlet. In the top right corner, I'm going to click on make a Padlet. Here you can choose the style. I'm just going to go with a wall format. Click on that and we're good to go. Now we can always title this, change the settings, but I'm going to leave it to the default settings. Once on my board, it's as easy as clicking on the plus icon in the bottom right corner. You can also double click anywhere on this board to open up this dialog box. Here you can see we can add files, images, links, and so much more. But what we are after is the AI image generator. So we're going to click on the three dots and we are going to click on the new feature, I can't draw. See, I can't draw, but the AI can. And so AI is going to draw some pictures for us. Let's go ahead and add in a prompt. I want to have a boy in the forest. He's wearing a yellow cap and a yellow hoodie. The forest is bright and colorful. The style is watercolor digital painting. There we go. We've given it quite a bit of information, but let's add a little bit more information so it knows what to generate. The boy is looking away from the camera. And as soon as I click on enter, it's going to generate six images for me. And those six images are going to be Padlet's AI image generators interpretation of these words. And what I'm after is a couple of images I can then use as story starters and a couple of images I can manipulate to create beautiful videos, motion graphics and more. So let's wait and see what it's generating. You can already see it's generating some amazing images. We've got this image, this one here, but they're very similar and they're looking in different directions. I quite like these two images here, but I do also think that the watercolor style comes through a bit better in this image at the bottom. I'm going to go with this image here. Let's click on that and let's just pop the prompt at the bottom so we remember what we've used. We can now click on publish and this gets added to our mood board or our brainstorming board. This can be used within those various settings. Now I've already gone and done this a few times with a different prompt. So let's go ahead and have a look at that one. Here on a different palette, you'll see that I've already added a number of elements and a number of images generated in this exact same way. We have a boy looking into the distance. We have that up close view and we also have the background image. Now what I want to do is I want to download these images and then I'm going to pull them into Canva to play around with the arrangement or composition of that image to emphasize the storytelling aspect of this image. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to open the first image. And what I can do is on the right hand side, click on the three dots and then I'm going to click on download attachment. This will download that image in a separate tab. I can now right click and download the file. Now I've already gone ahead and done that. So all the images have been downloaded into this folder. Now let's jump into Canva and start arranging the images in a way that fits my goal for storytelling in the class. So I'm going to open up my Canva. I have a brand new presentation open and I'm going to select all these images and drag them into my Canva element selector. Now here on the left hand side, you'll find all the images. So let's go ahead and start selecting the ones we want to use. So here I'm going to pull up this image here. Let's arrange it onto our screen. There we go. I think this looks quite nice. There we go. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can make sure that this image covers the entire screen. 
I quite like that. But now I want a close up of the boy looking in our direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image right here. And you can see this is an image without a background. How was this created? Well, I simply opened up the image generated by Padlet, clicked on Edit Photo, and then Background Remover. Canva has this built into the Canva for Education plan. Now I have that image without a background. I can click on Flip, and the image is flipped. We can now make this slightly smaller or make it much bigger. So here we go. We have that image to the side, and that will be my composition. This is what I will use for my story starter. Tell me what the boy is thinking. Tell me what has happened. What will happen next? Now that we've finished with our composition, let's go ahead and click on share. I'm going to download this image. I'm going to download it as a PNG, and I'm going to click on download. That image is now being created, and then it will automatically download to my computer ready for me to use in my class. And so as you can see, we have a beautiful image here with that close-up shot looking in one direction. And then we have the rest of the image. All this was done within Padlet and then the composition in Canva. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know in that comment section below. I also want to take a minute to thank all our channel sponsors who are making the creation of this content possible. Without your help, this would not be possible. Now, if you would like to become a channel member as well, you can scroll all the way down and you will see that button to join this channel. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.